Hi everyone, I'm Engineer Shane and today we're going to discuss about waterproofing. I will outline for this discussion, definition, types, manpower, tools use, estimates. What is waterproofing? It is a formation of an impervious barrier over surfaces for foundation, roof, walls, and other members of the building to prevent water penetrations. Basically, anything na pwedeng expose sa tubig and kailangan natin siyang lagyan ng waterproofing para hindi tumagos yung tubig doon. It's an application na nilalagay to prevent water seepage. For example, sa roof, kapag umuulan and concrete yung slab natin, kailangan natin lagyan ng waterproofing para yung tumutulo doon sa roof slab na yun. Hindi magpapenetrate sa mga spaces below. Kapag toilet naman, and uh, multi-floors yung toilet natin, yung floor below ng toilet, hindi din magsisip doon yung tubig. The advantages are, it safeguards the structural integrity of the building. It also prevents mold and decay. It also prevents metals from rusting and wooden structure or furniture from decay. It prevents seepages from the ceilings and walls. It prevents dampness inside the building and property value increase. Papansin natin kung, may, kung walang mga waterproofing yung mga uh, parts ng bahay natin or structure, nagkakaroon siya ng molds kasi na-expose siya sa tubig or na uh, tumatagal sa tubig. And it also um, prevents dampness. Siyempre kapag may waterproofing, hindi nagmumoist, hindi nagiging damp yung loob ng building. So it's a protection as well. Dahil may waterproofing, may additional cost, it also helps in the proper property value increase. Moving forward, ano ba yung mga types ng waterproofing? Para naman alam natin kung ano yung mga estimate natin sa construction. We have here the cementitious. The easiest method of waterproofing. Bakit? Uh, kasi ina-apply lang siya. May coating na siya na nakalagay sa isang lalagyanan. Tapos i-apply mo na lang siya. It often used in the interne internal wet area such as toilet. So pang loob to. Applications niya, pwede rin naman sa bridges, dams, tunnels, sewage treatment plants. So yung sewage treatment plants, sa ilalim siya ng lupa, kulog din siya. So ganun yung... Uh, purpose ng cement tissues. For the bituminous membrane, popular method for low slope roofs have torch on membrane and self-adhesive membrane. Pwede rin to sa toilet, but in terms of methodology, matrabaho kasi siya. Roll to, tapos niya lagyan ng torch, and then you roll over. Natutunaw, dumidikit sa structure. Ganun siya type. And risky din siya kasi may apoy na kasama. But this is a good... Uh, uh, process at well, as well, type of waterproofing. The third one is the liquid waterproofing membrane. From the word itself, li liquid siya. A thin coating usually with a primer coat and two coats of top coats which are applied by spray, roller, or trowel. For the bituminous coating, it is a flexible protective coat. Diba kanina, meron tayo din bituminous, pero ano siya, parang spread, uh, paper thin like na roll mat na type of waterproofing. Ito naman, uh, can be applied using brush or roller na din. Also called as asphalt, asphalt coating, excellent protective coating especially on surfaces such as concrete foundations. So, mapapansin natin, may mga kanya-kanyang purpose bakit nagkakaroon ng mga types of uh, waterproofing. So, depende kung saan area siya, internal vent or exterior, and then uh, anong gano ba kalaki? Diba? Ano ba yung exposure niya? Diba? So, yan. The last one is the polyurethane liquid membrane. So, again, similar with the liquid from we previously discussed. Used for pl flat roof area with an exposed to weathering. So, ito pwede itong panglabas. Expensive but with higher flexibility. Kasi kung mapansin natin, in terms of flexibility, yung bituminous kanina, yung roll, Mahirap siya pag binibend. Kailangan equal equal straight edges yung mga pinagalagyan natin. At least kapag mga liquid, kahit anong shape pwede. And kahit may mga, uh, tawag dito, may mga sloping, pwede din siya. 
what do we call or what do we call the people who are up uh, who are applying waterproofing the applicator waterproofing applicator skilled workers sila who apply sa waterproofing kasi hindi rin naman basta kahit sino lang pwede maglagay ng waterproofing kailangan pantay yung pagkakaspread nila nung kahit no material and then kailangan marunong sila mag quality check waterproofing in terms of uh, checking kung wala bang tumutulo nilalagyan ng tubig in observe for at least one day and then kailangan lahat na spreadan hindi pa lahat na applyan ng waterproofing hindi pwedeng certain areas lang and your thickness kailangan uniform din so kailangan skilled worker yung gagawa niyan what are the tools used for waterproofing these are the torch for a specific type of waterproofing which is in bituminous kanina the roller ito yung common or the brush and then the container paglalagyan mo ng waterproofing material cloth if in case need maglinis before maglagay or after diba and then hard hat of course kailangan pa rin ng safety sa site and the mittens to protect your hands from any chemicals or heat during the waterproofing process and last for how to estimate waterproofing it's as simple as computing for the area for this one Determine the waterproofing with two coats application needed in the toilet floor plan. So we have here the toilet floor plan with the dimension of two meters by one point seven, and then to to give information lang dito sa corner na to, we have your point five meters, point five meters because it's a pipe ducting. Ano solution natin? Two coats application sabi from the problem. So we need to compute first for the area of the toilet floor. Paano ba yan? We have here the 2 meters times 1.7, yung buo. And then, ima-minus lang natin tong area dito na butas. So, we have here the 3.15 square meters. Multiply by 2, kasi ang sabi is 2 quotes daw ng application ng waterproofing. So, we will have an area of 6.3 meters squared. Yan yung, uh, up, yun yung area of application ng waterproofing. To summarize, we have discussed about the waterproofing works, the definition, its types, its ma kusini mga manpower, the tools, and how to estimate. If you have any question, just drop your comment on the section below and I'll be happy to answer your question. That's it for today's discussion. For more content and learnings, follow me on the following social media platforms and don't forget to subscribe on this channel. For more engineering lectures and more topics about self-love, time management, and life discovery, this is in partnership with Cloud Construction Consultancy. See you on the next video. Bye!